my school, La Paz, with our two teachers, and we had a um, we had a draw and the, an iron, and we had and we had to paint our on our art. Fantastic. And what was the what was your favorite part? Uh, the painting. Did you ever done anything like that before? Only once or twice. Only once or twice. And had you ever done it on fabric? Uh, no. So that was that was a big change, really. Yeah. So, um, can, what do you think people uh, think the kids got a lot out of it? Uh, yeah, because they learn how to do silk painting, they learn how to uh, paint, they learn how to iron uh, and everything else. So I, these pieces all have different themes. What made you choose the things you put in yours? Uh, what made me choo choose them was the flower represents my family and uh, the rest represents a place I want to go when I grow up. Very good. And we'll describe that place a little bit. Uh, I want to go to Japan during the, during the spring sometime. Uh, uh, I want. I, say I want to go when it's nighttime because it's, it's the beautiful when it's during the night. Do you think you'll continue? Would you consider a career in the arts, or have you have you thought of your future? What you might want to do? Uh, no, I haven't decided yet. But whatever you do, I think the, the art kind of helps you see more. In a different way. Yeah. the director for migrant education in the Salinas Union High School District. And uh, I, we are so grateful to have this collaboration with the Monterey Arts Council. Our migrant students were able to express their feelings about their lives uh, living in this community, not only through writing, but also through art. And we would just really like to thank their teacher, Linda, for really bringing out their creativity and we just believe art is extremely important in the lives of our students. So thank you very much. I'm Linda Pedrazzini Heaven and I'm the teacher of this uh, silk painting class for Migrant Ed. And I, I have, this is the second migrant ed class that I've done for this kind of a project where we're asking the kids to think of five, four or five things that are important in their lives and illustrate those through word and image. Now, uh, I agree that art is enrichment, but I also feel strongly that it's a necessity an unrealized or an unappreciated and an unrecognized necessity because that's how we find, uh, we do self-reflective and creative work through the arts. And our children are being denied this in the schools due to the testing obsession. And here we have the kids talking about what is important in their very core issues in their lives, in word and image. And this is um, self-reflective and developmental. learning to read through the arts. That was my inspiration for, for teaching art. And I think that when students get, in, get involved in the arts, their, their whole educational process improves.
Thank you. Can you interview them and come back to this?